Hey friends, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. I just woke up, if you can't tell by the sound of my voice or my crazy bed head, but I wanted to film a keto, a what I eat in a day, and I wanted to show you absolutely everything. So I'm about to get my morning started, which means coffee. So keep in mind, I am not a medical professional, I'm not a doctor, um, do your research, you know, if you're starting keto, etc. yada, yada, yada. But this is just what I eat and what works for me. So coffee is first on the agenda and I'm gonna show you all of that. The other thing I like to do in the morning which doesn't really have to do with food is roll my face with this stainless steel face roller. It helps with depuffing, and I got this on Amazon. I'll link it down in the description box below if you're interested, but I keep it in my freezer, so while my coffee is brewing, I face roll, and I just do it like that. Coffee is done brewing, and I'm just gonna show you what I put in my coffee. So I use the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I've been using this stuff for a long time before I was even keto, but it's really good for your hair, skin, nails, and joints. It doesn't taste like anything, and it um, dissolves really quickly in the coffee. So I use two scoops of that every single day. And then I also use the MCT oil. I use one tablespoon of this. It's a derivative of coconut oil. It's a really good fat. It um, increases brain function and a bunch of other stuff. And then the other thing I use is heavy whipping cream. I use two tablespoons of this and that just adds a little bit more fat. I measured both of those out. And then I have a frother which mixes everything together. I highly recommend, especially for the MCT oil, it really helps to just blend it together. later in the day it's about 11 30 right now and I'm going to meet one of my friends for lunch I think I forgot to mention earlier I can't remember because I was half asleep when I was filming my coffee stuff um, but I drink the coffee and it's pretty much my breakfast I don't eat until I get hungry and the coffee keeps me pretty full since it has a lot of fat from the MCT oil and the heavy cream and then the peptides have some protein in them so I wait until I get hungry and normally that's around two o'clock um, since it's a little bit earlier right now I'm not super hungry we're meeting at noon but it, we're going to an area in Atlanta called the battery if you're familiar it's around where the Braves Stadium is and they have some different shops and stuff so I think we might actually walk around and do a little bit of shopping first and then eat so I'll probably be hungrier around that time but I'm not sure where we're going to eat yet there's a ton of different restaurants of course I'm gonna bring you along and the thing I like about keto for me at least I feel like it's pretty easy to find stuff to eat at any restaurant and most restaurants are really accommodating as well if you just ask and you need some institutions they'll make them for you so yeah I know I'll be able to find something to eat wherever we go
just finished lunch. It was really good. We ended up going to Yard House, which Yard House is a chain. It's kind of like, I guess, a higher end sports bar type of restaurant and they have a huge menu. So I think that's always a really good option because there's so many different things I can pick from. And I ended up getting a salad because I wasn't super hungry and I just really love salads. And I got a salad off their appetizer menu. It was a chopped salad, but I didn't get, I think there were corn and tomatoes that I didn't get on there. It just had lettuce, um, celery, cucumber, avocado, and bacon. And then I added blackened chicken. So that was really delicious. I got ranch dressing and I ate the whole thing. And now I am just going to run some errands, get on with my day. I might have a coffee this afternoon because I kind of want a little more energy, but I will check in with you guys when it's dinner time. Hi, may I have a grande iced coffee unsweetened with a splash of heavy cream, please? With a splash of what? Heavy cream. Heavy cream? Mm hmm. All right, it's going to be 2 dollars Thank you. Thanks. So I always, I'm in the drive thru at Starbucks. Sorry, the lighting's kind of weird. But I always either get a iced coffee unsweetened because they put sweetener in it, so you have to specify if you want it unsweetened. Or I will get a cold brew coffee. Both I'll get a splash of heavy cream, but the cold brew is a little bit stronger, so I don't feel like I need a ton of caffeine. I just want like a little bit of, I don't know, like an afternoon something something. So I'm gonna get the regular coffee, iced coffee. Thank you, sir. So excited. So it's dinner time and I'm at home. I'm just going to be making something super quick and easy. I talked about in my keto grocery haul that I like simple stuff and I'm also not a huge cook. So I like to make things that are really easy. And I'm also not super hungry right now. Like I ate lunch at one and that salad was really filling. And then um, I had an afternoon coffee and right now it's 720 so I'm gonna make some sauteed broccoli and butter and then I'm gonna make bread cheese which I just discovered the other day it is so good and I'll show you all that and let's get cooking so I have some Rouse tomato basil sauce I'm gonna be dipping my bread cheese in that and then I just use the frozen broccoli florets and I'm gonna saute them in Kerrygold butter. And then this is the bread cheese. I just already have it like cut up in this Tupperware. I can't show you what the bag looks like cause I already took it out of the packaging, but yeah, that's the cut up cheese. show you what I have working here so this is the bread cheese basically it comes in a big block and you just slice it up and you can put it in a non-stick skillet and fry it so right now I'm just cooking it on each side and when it cooks up it tastes like cheese bread like I promised like the cheesy bread appetizer from an Italian restaurant but it's just cheese and then I don't have a microwave so I'm just heating up some tomato sauce in a little ramekin in the pan and then I also have my broccoli over here, which is just sauteing in Kerrygold butter and salt and pepper. The last thing I'm gonna have tonight is some hot tea, and I drink hot tea almost every single night. I've always loved tea, and this is my absolute favorite. It has been for a while. It is the glazed lemon loaf, and it's a caffeine-free tea, so I like to drink this one at night. And in it, I put a teaspoon of this um, natural calm, and I get the one with calcium, and it just helps you to like relax and chill at night. So that concludes my first keto what I eat in a day 
style video. I hope you enjoyed seeing like little snippets of what I had here and there. Every single day is different. It just depends, you know, what plans I have, what I feel like eating. And keep in mind, I am not a professional. I am not a doctor. So this is just what works for me and what I like to eat. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more keto what I eat in a days. And hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already. I will see you in my next video. Bye.